jump, gonna jump. I saw this interview where you said you and Nori battled back in the day, like rap battle. Can you break that down? Because uh-huh. I've never heard you do it in detail, like how it went. It, 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 we was just getting cool. Like me and Nori, we from like two different. I'm from Flushing, he's from Left Crack. And, you know, we always had beef with each other, you know. And then, you know, after doing the songs, we was together, you know, like some of his niggas shot some of my niggas, some of my niggas went at some of his niggas, you know, whatever, whatever. But, then I had a party at my crib, and he brought all his left rack niggas, and I had all my wasteland niggas. And we were just in the room getting high, and it was like, okay, cool. That person, Mussolini battles this person. You know what I mean? Show battles this, but, you know. So um, it, went, it went with, like, um, three three of them. One of them go, one of them go, one of them go, one of them go. Um, it was dope. It was dope. It was, it was peaceful. Um, one, one of my friends was getting a little disrespectful. So... I had to show Nori and his crew, I got my dudes under control. So I actually had to get, you know, had to check one of my friends and be like, my nigga, what's up? Like, these are my peoples, you know what I mean? And Nori seen how I held my crew together. And that was it after that. I think we all went to win eight, chill, but it was dope. It was dope. It was just like one-on-one. Everybody just feel like a burst real quick. So nobody know who won, nobody know who lost, but it was it was definitely a good experience. Don't lie, Flush. You know you you know you beat him, right? You did, right? <laughs> it was a tie. It was a tie. That's was that tie. politically correct answer. Wait, so yeah. it wasn't personal rhymes. It was just like who who could spit the best verse, pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. I don't know. I, I, and I think me and him, like we you know we working on music, so I think maybe he spit one of his. One of his something he had on the album, I spit maybe something we've never heard, but it, it was it was just fun. That was another thing you gotta remember. Like I said, they from a neighborhood. Or I'm from a neighborhood where we wanted to kill each other. So for me to even bring that together was 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 was, was a glorifying night. That's Not that diplomatic ability right there. Yes, it is. So it wasn't on the level of like URL smack, like I no, no, no. And, you know, no, no, no. It was like okay, he, he's with his four mans that rap. I'm with my four mans that rap. I uh, we we put him in cat. Okay, uh, y'all two are newer, y'all younger. You know, we try to just match it, and then we did it. Got you. Okay. Um, did you ever do any battle rap on the street back in the days? No, but um, DNA DNA is my man, man. Like. DNA is another person when I when he found that I had cancer, you know, and made sure he flew out to come see me, made sure he'd keep giving me money, checking on me. So I always wanted to do it. So one time I wanted to, I, I, I told him I wanted to do it. So we was gonna we was gonna make it happen, but I just feel like there's really like I don't know, there's really nothing you can say about me. What you gonna say? I'm, I'm an old school rapper. <laughs> like that's all you can say. Besides that, I got everything under under control. So I think a lot of people probably wouldn't battle me, or they probably would want to monitor what they say about me. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let battle rap let a person talk to me the way that they don't normally talk to me. So they probably wouldn't want me to do it. Yeah, because I was gonna ask you, do you think that you can because you know when people get crazy disrespectful, they're like, I did this research on you, you know, so and so from your hood said this about you and you know, they start going with certain angles and it that it gets real disrespectful. Oh, it does. And then you know, you know, you know, with me there's really nothing to find. So you're gonna turn something small and lie about it. So a lot of that shit you sitting there rapping to me, I know it's lies, but the audience don't know it's lies. So now I gotta punch you in your face. So I'm probably not a good battle rapper. That's that's what uh Cuban told me too. He was like, Yo, I don't think I could do it because and he he's a battle rap fanatic. Like he watches it like all the time, right? But he's all like, Oh, me too. I know everybody from the women on. But he's like, I, I don't think I could do it because I don't know if I could control myself from, from snuffing somebody. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think the main part is just letting you go and I can't do nothing but look at you right. while you're disrespecting me. I think I can't take that. And, you know, most of the time, it's not like there's like a boundary in between that you can't cross this line. Like physically, like, you know, they in your face spitting at you, like, you know, spitting in your face. So, I mean, I, I know I, I would have an advantage. Because I know who I am and I know the type of money I got. I probably could pay for the information I'm not supposed to have. So I know I could get something on whoever I'm battling. I I get something you did that nobody ever knew, but I get it from your mother or your sister. But I don't, you know, I just try to stay away from it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's probably better flush. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. 